Hi Taurus, how are you? I'm bringing you out into nature. For those of you that are not in the United States, welcome in, welcome in. Um, we have a holiday here this weekend. Uh, Monday is a national holiday for us, so a lot of us tend to go away on this weekend, and I am by the water <laughs> for this weekend, so thus the background. And it is my last weekend here because this marks the end of our summer. All right, guys, the preliminary message that I'm getting here is somebody's coming back to you with the Eight of Cups in reverse. I don't know, this can also be you. You could be going back to somebody in your past or somebody from their past is coming towards you. Let's see what's going on. Universe, angel, spirit guides, tell me from my beautiful Taurus, what's going on with them, please? What's their situation? Yeah, justice. Something that was unfairly done to you before is now being corrected. And sometimes for me, actually nine times out of ten for me, when I see justice, this always means somebody coming back. Others of you, it can be court and you will win whatever it is because it's in the upright position. Yes, this is talking about settling something. This is divorce in regards to your foundation, your home, but this is justice coming back into your home, back into your foundation. Very interesting. Yes, the, see, here you are at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be buying a home, a small pocket of you are buying a home or something, a lease. What's coming towards them? Uh-huh. I see this is going to make you uh, recover. I don't want to say happy, but it's going to make you recover. And it's going to make you feel unstuck from being in pain all the fucking time. What don't they see coming? Uh, if you're new to my channel, I do F-bomb. Sorry about that. You got kids running around the background. Now would be a good time to put on some headphones. <laughs> um... I try not to be crass. I just get very excited over certain situations. And um, I'm also upfront and honest with my videos. So I do say what I see. I don't usually sugarcoat anything. Um, what's their advice, Spirit? For those of uh, people who do follow me, that's the reason mainly why. What you see is what you get. All right. What's the outcome for the week, Spirit? Yeah, there's, there's, there's some kind of uh, situation some of you have to deal with. A courtship that you had here with somebody or a marriage. Or a commitment. Because there's some confusion here. Oh. They're, oh my God. There won't be at the end of the week. This is not what I wanted to see. But I'm going to be honest. I don't like seeing towers. I don't like seeing death. What's this? And this is why it's happening to you. Because you're moving too slow on this situation. And I think I told you guys last week. When you don't make a decision, this is going to happen to you. Spirit will force this upon you. Because you're dealing with something that is beneath you, Taurus. Something that isn't uh, meant to be in your life anymore. Look at you. Nurturing. Loving. Kind. Caring. You need to share this with somebody else like you, energetically. Someone who deserves this. The world trying to start a new chapter, which you are soon, because you're not going to have a choice. Spirit's like, enough. You're not making a decision. We're going to make it for you. Because we need to clean the slate for you, Taurus, and build something new. Enough is enough. We're taking it away. So, um, let's start your reading over here. In the recent past... You did start a new chapter. At least you tried to. You tried to... This this ending that you had with somebody... This is like somebody where the mirror fractured all over the place. Then you took this fractured mirror of a person, of a relationship, of a job, of a situation, of a family member, of a friend. You tried gluing it back together. And what happened to you? You cut yourself. That's what happens when you, you try to do something like this. Listen, so I'm not saying it doesn't work. Sometimes it does. But many, many, many elements need to fall into place to make it work. 
meaning patience, guidance, understanding, acceptance of what was done, but it needs to be on both parties. You were juggling two things, two people, two situations, your, your situation, you had one foot in, one foot out. Some of you were even having an affair. This is you having an affair. This is you, third party. This is you, the mistress, the mister. The third person, stalking. It's a hex, our neighbor's dog. Aw, poor thing, it's crying. See? You're crying. You're sad. Sometimes those are signs to me. Justice, four of wands. Something in your home, in your foundation is being righted. It is being course corrected. That's what this is telling me. Spirit is course correcting you, Taurus. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're possibly right now getting in a relationship with somebody or you're in a relationship with somebody as a couple. And I want to know how this is so different from this. What's happening here? Why are we such a happy couple over here? Living with someone or getting engaged or leveling up in life. Karma. Good karma. Uh, healing yourself. Getting yourself unstuck. Passion in new beginnings. But there's something selfish about this. And then all of a sudden, boom. We have death and tower. Here you are, single. You might have been juggling two people, two paths, two situations. I don't know. You were doing something. You asked somebody out or somebody asked you out. It made you really, really happy, this person. And don't tell me no because there's two people on this card. And then there's two people over here toasting to the relationship. Here's your justice. Here's you leveling up in a relationship with somebody. Here's you happy. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. All right. What's coming towards Taurus? Future. Three of swords in reverse. Eight of swords in re eight of swords in reverse. Swords, guys, is thoughts. It's it's the it's thinking about something, and sometimes thoughts can keep us stuck. It can keep us in a painful place, or it can make us recover, and that's what this looks like. This looks like getting unstuck and recovering from heartache. Yeah, you're moving on. You're moving forward. You're moving on with your life. You're leaving choppy waters going to smooth. Some of you are physically moving. And there's a lover here, okay? Remember what I said? A lover is not a husband or a wife. A lover is a lover. Mistress, mister. Infidelity. I don't know. You're moving on. I don't know, guys, if you're moving to this lover, away from this lover, but you're moving somewhere in a better place that's making you heal, making you recover, getting mentally unstuck. What you don't see coming is a passionate new beginning. There's a reason this is phallic shaped. Okay? This is boom, boom card. The nine of cards, though, somebody here, though, is thinking selfishly. Be careful this isn't you, Taurus, because that could blow up in your face. Now, if that's your person, again, be careful. That this doesn't, again, blow up in your face because that person is being selfish and crude and you inadvertently hurt yourself again. Now, clarify this for me. What's the Ace of Rods and the Nine of Cups in reverse? Yeah, when this happens to you, you, you get all up in your head. You get all up in like wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me rationalize this situation. Is this just sex? Is this passion? Is this just in the initiation? Is this more? You're like, and part of you is just thinking to yourself like, you know what? I got to do what I got to do. Oh my God, I got to do what I got to do. This is somebody who works on themselves, on their craft, on their work, on their job, their own shit. This is you. 
This is you saying, I got to be selfish because I got to do what I got to do. So I'm going to have fun and I need to compartmentalize or I'm going to break apart if I don't. This is you. Can I have one more? I love it. The, the, the Nine of Cups in reverse clarified by the Nine of Cups upright. Three, you're like, you know, this is my wish fulfillment. I'm just going to be patient. I'm going to wait for it because my ships will come in. They will. That's what you're rationalizing here with this passionate new beginning. You had an ending, though, or a transformation. Either a trans, some of you, it's a transformation with a lover. Others of you, it's an ending with someone and you've, you've moved on here with someone else. What's this in your advice? Because Spirit's like saying, listen, whatever it is that you're doing, you have many options. Sure, don't get too confused, but definitely whatever you do, do make sure it's traditional. This is courting somebody. This is joining a group, a, a membership, a club. This is also going back to school for some of you. Clarify. But this is definitely marriage, the institution of marriage or commitment or, you know, courting somebody, doing something traditional. It's also your card. I have a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I also have an Aries at the bottom of the deck. Two incoming energies and there's some breadcrumbing going on here. I don't know if you're doing it or they're doing it, but I, I get it. You're confused. So now I understand. The seven, because you do have options, you're confused. Spirit's like, well, go about it traditionally. Go towards the courtship. Go towards the person who's going to give you what you want. What's this? Engagement? Get engaged? Or engage with? Somebody here who's emotionally available. Somebody here who's emotionally intelligent. Somebody here who's not a hot mess express. This is a person that's not a hot mess express. This is a person capable of holding a relationship down. This is a person also who is not immature. What is this, this breadcrumbing? If you feel like you're being breadcrumbed, and confused spirits like don't be confused go towards the traditional steps of courting and dating somebody if you got two people go with the one that's going to give you what you want because there's commitment back here in tradition with somebody here very powerful or an aries energy or somebody very like um controlling somebody who takes control of life and you know takes the bull by the horn does that turn you on, uh, Taurus? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Knight of Pentacles. I'm so silly. Death and the Tower. Yikes. Look at you guys. This is either a marriage gone way wrong or a divorce. You tried to start a new chapter after this commitment ended. Or you will be. But look at you. That shit had to go away. You had an old commitment. You had a marriage. You had something. And if this isn't you, then it was your person. Whatever. That shit fell apart. It had to. There was a big blow up, a big fight, a big explosion, and it was over. And then you started moving slowly. It could have ended because you were somebody here was too slow. Others of you, you're moving slowly past this. Because here you are. Still torn. Don't know what to do, if you should fight for this or move on. You're communicating here with somebody. You're talking to someone. And it's going back and forth. And whoever it is that you're talking to, because you, you might have two options, one of them seems pretty successful to me. One of them looks like pays attention to you. One of these people validates you acknowledges you takes you seriously i'm telling you spirit doesn't do this just like that and there's nothing here to blame on you sure it can be the other person 
But whatever was happening, it was definitely beneath you. And Spirit's like, you weren't moving. You weren't moving. You were moving, but not really moving. Or making a decision. Or your person wasn't. So I am so curious, guys. You have to leave me your comments down below because is this a different person from this person? Or did shit just fall apart with this person? Be careful. You got some serious wackadoo energy coming towards you at the end of the week. What you gotta say, spirit? No! Yes! Wedding! And it's in reverse. Deception. Some of you were married and you were deceived in that marriage. Maybe you did it. I don't know. You're discerning adults. Place it where it belongs. I don't usually read my oracle cards reverse, but it did land this way on purpose. That's why it flew out in the air. So I'll accept this. And then this could be the one. So this, for some of you, this person over here has nothing to do with whoever this person is over here. Others of you, it might be. But this person can be the one. And it might lead to marriage. Others of you are getting out of a marriage, meeting somebody new. That could be the one at the bottom of the deck you're dealing with truth, decept you're dealing with deception. Those of you that are my members, we clarify this with in the extended with Terrell. But before we go there, let's get a card from the Wisdom House tonight and see what they say for you as far as advice and it is my last weekend here which I'm gonna miss it's very beautiful and peaceful over here peace be unto you guys I hope you can feel that energy I extend it to you okay you got two cards the fledgling and love Interesting. What's the fledgling? That's the first one. That's card number one. I don't think I ever got this card before. Guys, I am so ridiculous. I have to pause you. I need my reading glasses. So I was wearing my sunglasses and I'm like, oh my god, I can't read. I can't see. I need new glasses. I'm like, duh, I'm wearing sunglasses. Anyway, dear one, when you receive the symbol of the fledgling, know that you are blessed with a time of learning new things. This is a time for you to remember that you cannot know things until you experience them. Being in this evolving state means you may stumble a little bit. Don't expect yourself to be perfect. Now's the time for being gentle with yourself as you step into your destiny to become the beautiful person you were always meant to be. When the fledgling appears to you, it is a sign of new growth and a wonderful new opportunity. Step forward with curiosity and a willingness to learn and discover. That can be a person, that can be a job, that can be a situation. Something new is evolving here for you, Taurus. Move into it comfortably. This is why you have justice, because you're getting karma rewarded to you for some hot-ass disaster that has happened to you in the recent past. Now, love is probably the topic of matter here. So let's see. The matter, yes, let's see. The matter of love. My child, my wonderful one, it is a time to celebrate because love is calling to you to open your heart and receive my blessings, which you are, because it looks like here you, there's someone. But I see you being confused a little. Choosing the symbol is a powerful sign that love in all forms is in your life right now. There is a responsibility to this, though. You also must give love freely without condition and love others because your heart is open. There's something else here to consider. Love can be a confusing force as well and can sometimes ask a sacrifice of you. If your heart is aching and feels like it's broken, know that love has a greater love for you later. No matter where you are in your life right now, love has come to guide you into an important existence. Trust in love. All right, guys, that was beautiful. As always, leave me your comments down below. I enjoy listening and reading all your comments. And those of you that are my members, the link is down below for the extended. I will see you over there. 
as we will clarify these cards, how your person feels about you, the actions that they will take towards you, their intentions, what the universe has for you, and then we go from Aries to Pisces, and I'm trying something new in that as well. So I'll see you guys over there.